Less than 36 hours left to get half off all three audio volumes of Woman Ease. Plus, get a $297 credit towards Woman Ease Volume 4. Link in description. If you're really so high this and that with all these other things, you should be living your life enjoying it instead of worrying about a guy in Philadelphia that you don't know, a guy in Atlanta that you don't know, and screaming online I mean, and making lawsuits about what? broken law and what compensation and what damn this is but 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 this is what the narcissist believes this grandiose yes. they they really believe they're all of that and they believe i have this connection and this and this and that and these people are over and they oh, yeah, think yeah, that yeah. the world is going to just oh well go ahead but see the reality is in their personal life it doesn't work so the video that she has such a problem with and it's these oh good the, and, and in the video, she has such a problem, but that was the conversation we had. It's like, well, you are talking about I'm destroying women's hopes, all right? Yeah. If you're with a man. She said that she was with a man who's a CEO, who's this successful and that successful, but he doesn't want to have kids. And Oh, I remember that. Oh, my God, I remember that. <laughs> that was and it turns that out, was it's like, well, she's like, well, I think I can change his mind. I'm like, his wife that he married couldn't change his mind. But oh, narcissist pe narcissistic people really believe. Like she truly believed that. You put it to a polygraph, she passes the test. Yes. Yeah. They truly believe this. And the thing is, narcissists make a convincing case. It's like people over here, they'll see a woman. And because she'll say something, well, you know, he, 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 he did this and he did that because we're so used to women being able to cry foul. Right. All right, man. But in a court of law, they'd be like, what, man? What's the legal basis for this suit? Right. Like, what's the substance here? No, what's the legal basis? Not your opinion. What's the legal basis? Oh, wow. They get shut down real quick. You want to know why they're used to not? The reason why they're um, um, they're always talking about the way they feel. Because, mm -hmm. Kevin, that works in the court of public opinion. And women these days, particularly modern narcissistic women, they make the egregious mistake of believing that the court of public opinion is going to be the same thing as the court of law. And well, they let me always you, learn this the hard way. Let me tell you something. If you've ever been in a family court, go watch family court where a man actually shows up with an attorney and has oh, a case wow. and watch a watch a mother who thought she had a case. Uh, and go watch, go watch, go watch what happens when a man actually wins custody from a woman. Wow. Wow. And you will see wow. what happens when the law is actually put in place. Because <sighs> Women are used to being able to say, women like this are used to being able to say, he hurt me, he did this, he did that. And people say, okay, oh, we believe you. oh, no problem. Because they're used to people just dying down. But most people yeah. don't realize that there has to be a legal basis. Right. And even if there is a legal basis, how are you damaged? Right. And what do you right. expect to get? And if the USFL got three dollars from the NFL, what do you really think is going to accomplish? What it really is is they want what this is what and here's what we what brings us here is because for the first time in my lifetime, feminism, womanism, all these isms, women are being challenged. This stuff is being pushed back on, and they're That's not right. able to really deal with it. No. So it's like, well, I'll just try to I'll play as dirty as I can to try to just get this stuff to stop. But here's the thing. It's not going to stop. The, the We're not going anywhere, Kev. It doesn't matter if us, me, you. It is not going to change right. the reality that if you're a post wall, you have a sexual marketplace value. Just because you want something, you can't necessarily get it. And there's no right. amount of crying foul that's going to do in it. And, and again, let's just say, let's just say for the sake of argument, this isn't going to happen. Let's just say she sues you and she wins $7.50. Mm -hmm. Guess what, Kevin? She is still, she's still post wall. She's still low value. And if well, she wants to listen in my, listen, in my opinion, getting ran through by CEOs and she said access to high value men and I've dated CEOs like you know, plural, I'm like, okay, if you're dating all these high-value guys and you don't really have real hair, that tells me one thing. Maybe money is changing hands. I don't know. In I don't, I don't know. Need, I'm I not there, but... that, I don't even need to go down that path. I go down that path. <laughs> I don't even need to go down that path. What CEO wants a, to be dealing with a girlfriend who's suing somebody on YouTube? That's a or, trick question, Kevin, because they don't. I'm sure, I mean, I mean, thing yeah. is, if that that and that's and that's the and that's the problem because it doesn't make any sense. 
You're you're trying to say you're up here and we're just yes. peasants down here, but yeah, you're spending all this time and energy instead of living your life and doing what you're supposed to do. It doesn't even make sense. I mean, think no. about it. How would this conversation go? Hey, how'd you do? Well, we had to deal with this merger and acquisition. We're talking about taking over this company. We're going to fly out of town to do that. What's going on in your day? Well, I'm suing this guy on YouTube because he said that I look like an escort. And I'm, going to the guy. I'm going to sue him too on YouTube because he said something. He 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 kind of lied to me and invaded my private. And he's like, what, what, huh? That That's who, does that even make any sense to anybody? Right. That's like a busybody housewife who's just looking to be nosy. That's all it That's is. That's that man. narcissistic stuff. And, and the sad part is part of it's funny, but part of it's really sad too. And what's sad is though so many, what's really sad is so many other delusional females will sit back, she's got a case. You should sue. I'm like, now that's what's real? weird. Yes, that's really weird. Well, again, it's anybody who says she has a case, obviously we're dealing with thirst. Let me uh, read these super chats here. Uh, B-Boy number one says, this show is going to be awesome. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, $5. I appreciate that. Ryda, uh, $5. Says Daily Dose of Mandem. I like that. Cryomancer with the $200 Super Chat. Says, what up, D? Long time no see. Dropping it off for TSR. Dude, You all of a sudden, you show up to my channel. And now, well, <laughs> you know what? Listen, I regularly get three-figure Super Chats. But, man, I've never gotten one that early. That is the Kevin Samuels effect. Just to owes, uh, $10. Says, thanks to both of you for what you do. Uh, Peel IT, five Australian dollars. As I called into Kevin's show last week, he was super respectful, but maybe that's because I didn't get snippy. These girls are often very rude to Kevin. Let's talk about that for a second, Kevin, because a lot of times when these women call your show, they're, 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 they're hostile from the start. And the mm -hmm. way you screen them now, nothing short of brilliance. The way you don't allow them to be heard unless you, unless you feel like they can be heard. Why is it that you think these women come at you like this? And why? Dude, listen, Kevin, you're 173 and 0, fam. Like you're undefeated with these hoes, but they all think they're going to be the one to give you your first L. What's with that, man? Well, the first part is why they call me and they're so hostile. Uh, because I've asked the question, what kind of man do you want? Right. And then what? kind of woman does the man that you want want oh like wow. last night Jesus i did that show on do single mothers deserve yes. high value men and if you watched it you had women actually saying i've got two kids three kids 43 overweight this that they all believe it and the thing is prior to me being on youtube it was falling on deaf ears because guys could give their opinion but a lot of guys were behind avatars not out in public not saying anything, or they didn't have any credibility of actually being out in corporate America, this and that. Right. That matters, Kevin. So me actually be, having lived this life and then saying, no, I'm in these spaces and I am still working with these kind of men and this is not what they want. It's like, it's like cognitive, it's a disconnect and they can't believe that they've been lied to. It was like Neo when he first got out of the Matrix. He just he just couldn't believe it. Right. They just couldn't right. wrap their mind around it. So the first thing you do is you want to attack it because it's like uh 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 uh. They're rejecting the truth. This right. can't be real. Like, like when um, he threw up. Like when I had I was talking to a, a woman one day, and the reality was is you're older. You earn three hundred thousand dollars or more. And Ooh. even if you try to get your mind to be okay to accept every guy, by th by six months down the line, you would be mean to that guy because yes. you've had a lifetime of being disrespectful to him. Right. So and, and Kevin, this is they're not and, angry and with you, me. Okay. They're angry with the reality. So they're angry with themselves and and no, obviously not angry, angry with at the dating themselves. market. They're angry with the reality. They're angry that they've been lied to their entire life. Okay. They're ang okay. Uh, I'm going to do a video next week. On okay. Susan Vanker. Okay. Uh, and she has this woman by the name of Susan Chowder or Crowder. Uh, I'll pull it up. But this woman wrote for Cosmopolitan Magazine back in oh, the wow. 70s. And way. she openly admits <clears throat> she, she wrote a book called Subverted, how the women's movement lied to women. There it is. This woman sat back and said, I was married for 40 years. The owner of Cosmopolitan was married for 50 years. 
but this was an actual orchestrated plan of selling products to modern American women. That's all it was, you don't dude. Sell a piano to modern people. You sell a lifestyle and you sell a music room and you sell, if you want to live well, you need a music room. And then modern people will say music room need piano. Yes. How do you sell tampons, beauty products, condoms, birth control, girls trips, and all this other stuff to women? You sell a lifestyle. The Cosmopolitan magazine, according to the owner of the magazine, was the playboy for women. Unbelievable, man. And what happened was she converted to Catholicism. She quit Cosmo in the 80s. Okay. And then she had a North Roba herself. Okay. Uh, and then in 2000, in the 2000s, she converted to Catholicism. And then she stood, she started looking around and started realizing all these sex in the city widows and saying, wait a minute, the stuff we told women, delay right. marriage, wait, all sorts of stuff is not working. And women are, yeah. so she felt she needed to tell somebody about it to tell all. And when I do this video, I'm going to do it first. We should talk about it afterwards though. Okay. It's crazy <laughs> because we've been telling women this, that the feminism lied to you. They tied, and and they used all the language of the Southern strategy and of marketing. Course. This was an effort to keep women spending money. And one That's of the all it was, it was all ways, the money grab. And the only way you can keep women doing that is to get them to delay marriage. And the only way you can get them to delay marriage is to do what? Make casual sex okay, i.e., birth control and not roba. Yep. yep. And making it okay. And then even if you do decide to become a baby mama, make that okay. Right. Right. So women are starting to realize after the the beer bug, when the whole world shut down, yeah. that they looked to the left, looked to the right, and they had nobody. Less than 36 hours left to get half off all three audio volumes of Woman Ease, plus get a $297 credit towards Woman Ease Volume 4. Link in description.